This video is to help you set up a virtual machine environment on your own computer uh, so that we can have a common environment for every student in the class to use. If you go to our course webpage on the Coursera website, uh, you'll find uh, in our nap left navigation bar the, the heading virtual machine installation. Click on that and you'll get a detailed set of instructions on how to install a virtual machine that will give us all a common programming environment in which to do the assignments in the course. The important things to do first are to download a virtual machine player. Now we're going to be doing this for the Windows environment uh, so we're going to be loading a free VMware player. Uh, for those of you running Macs or Linux you might want to try out VirtualBox uh, to do that. We won't be supporting anything other than the Windows environment, but uh, you can find a similar set of uh, instructions will work uh, on, uh, for VirtualBox as well. So if we click on the VM player, we'll go to the VMware website where you'll find a download button uh, to click on and see a whole set of possible VMware players to use. We're going to choose the Windows 32-bit and 64-bit player and click on that download. That will let us uh, save an EXE file on, on our uh, machine. After the file is done downloading, you'll see this icon on your desktop. Just double click on that and run the installer uh, for VMware. Once that's completed, you'll find the following icon on your desktop for the VMware player. But before we do anything else, let's go back to our instructions and, and look at uh, the next thing we need to do. As we go further down, you'll see download instructions for the actual virtual machine image we'll be using. That is available here under the Linux VM installation and setup. We'll be using a Linux virtual machine. This is a very large file. It's about 1.3 gigabytes. So we recommend that you uh, allocate enough time to get this downloaded. Uh, the file is also compressed. So you'll need a decompression utility called 7-zip. So if you don't have that on your machine, you'll find a link here uh, to go find 7-zip and install it. Uh, again, I'm going to install the 64-bit uh, Windows version and uh, put that on my machine as well. For those of you who are not on Windows, further down on this page you'll find instructions for Mac OS and Linux versions of uh, 7-zip. Okay, the next thing then we'll need is the actual virtual machine file itself. Uh, you can download that here by fetching uh, the virtual machine image uh, directly from the Coursera server or you can uh, set up a BitTorrent to uh, help you download the file. We'll leave that to you to figure out. All the instructions are here. I am just going to download the virtual machine image directly and uh, you'll notice it's a file called vm.7z and place that on my desktop as well. So after uh, the file has downloaded, and that could take a while, uh, you'll find two more icons on your desktop. One is the virtual machine file itself zipped, and the other is the 7-zip installer. So let's get the 7-zip uh, utility installed first. Uh, just do the basic uh, recommended installation. That shouldn't take very long. And then we can uh, right click on the virtual machine file and ask 7-zip uh, to extract it here. So what it will now do is extract the file into a folder uh, in this directory. Okay, when that's completed you'll have a folder called VM and if you double click on that you'll see a set of files in that. 
Uh, let's not worry about that just quite yet. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be using the VMware player to play one of those files and set up our environment for us. So if we click on VMware, we can open a virtual machine. And what we'll do is navigate to that uh, file. And you'll notice there's only one file that we can actually open uh, called Fedora 64-bit. We'll open that and then click play our virtual machine. Just click I copied it to get things started. And just remind me later or OK to the various things that we'll ask. And you'll now see it install the actual virtual machine uh, that we'll be using. Okay, once that decompression is completed, we'll have a VM folder that contains our virtual machine image. We're going to execute uh, that virtual machine by using the VMware player. So double click on the VMware icon and open a new virtual machine on that folder, navigating to it if necessary and then selecting that uh, virtual machine and playing it. Just click I copied if that pops up and remind me later if uh, necessary and you'll see it go through a sequence of installation operations for that uh, virtual machine. This may take a few seconds. Okay, when it's completed the installation, we'll see a window onto our virtual machine and uh, a login for our default user, happy user. If we click on that, we'll see that it uh, brings up a screen with a few icons on the, on the top of the screen and a few icons in the menu bar up at the top. One of the first things you'll want to do is click on the uh, exclamation point, either here or here. And uh, this is a little script that we've included that uh, updates all the course materials. So what I've just done is updated the course materials so that I can get started on the first uh, homework assignment, the first laboratory assignment, Lab Zero. OK. The next thing I'll want to do is open up a terminal window uh, using the icon here in the Applications menu, and type setup-vm. That will now let me set a new password for my virtual machine. Oops, I guess I mistyped. And then a new uh, password for my user. OK, so now setup is complete, and I can get started using uh, my virtual machine. There are a few more things left to do at this point, and we're going to go back to our instructions. And you'll notice that as we've just uh, completed part A, uh, and I've shown you how to do that, the next thing to do is to set up part B. And I'll leave that up to you to follow these instructions carefully. Uh, you'll notice there's a bunch of commands you'll have to give to the uh, prompt at, in the terminal window. And this will uh, finally set up everything so that it's ready for us to use. Uh, the next video will look at how we get started on Lab Zero.